Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and this video is about VirtualBox share folders between a host and an Ubuntu guest. The outcomes for this video would be to create a folder on a host machine, create a shared folder in VirtualBox guest machine settings, then install GNOME system tools in Ubuntu 13.04. You can use any other uh, Ubuntu version to install GNOME system tools in. Uh, set permissions for the shared folder and then transfer the file between the host and the guest. Requirements would be a host computer with permission to create folders. This video uses Windows 7. An Ubuntu desktop. This video uses Ubuntu 13.4 and an internet connection. Additional info is at VirtualBox and also at a Ubuntu documentation. While I've researched this material, I can't fully verify it will work with all combinations of hardware and software, so I've been asked to include a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop the video and read the disclaimer. The first step in creating a uh, shared folder is to either choose a folder or create a shared folder. In my case, I'm going to create one, and I have a Windows 7 host machine here. So basically, I'm going to go to local disk C, users, public, public VMs for public virtual machines, and then I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call it VBox Manage. I'm sorry, not VBox Manage. VBox Share. And since there's nothing in it, I'm going to put a screensaver in it so that when we pull up the uh, virtual machine that we'll just take the screensaver out of this shared folder and put it on the virtual machine to kind of make sure that, that everything's working. So I'll bring up the wallbase.cc and I'm simply going to put in space nebulae and the only purpose here is just to uh, bring in a uh, folder and I know that the screen size of the virtual machine is 1280 by 960 so I picked 1280 by 960 select that and then I'm going to pick one of these here you can find your own I'll pick this one here. And once I've got it, I just simply click Save Image As. In this case, I'm going to go again to uh, Users, but Public, and then Public VMs, and then VBox Share, right here, and simply just click Save. And that's it for uh, download is complete. So to create a shared folder, I'm going to pick a virtual machine here, Share64 Ubuntu R001. Click on Shared Folders. And this is in the side the Settings menu. I'm going to pick the folder that I created. Other. and it's in users public public VMs and VBox share click OK and I can have it be read only or auto mount in my case I'm going to pick auto mount click OK click OK so now I've created a share folder, but there's still some things we have to do before uh, that have to be done before we can access that the shared folder. So let's go start this virtual machine. Log in. Now one thing that has to happen is we've got to install some software uh, to make it easier to get permissions to access that shared folder from the virtual machine here go to the Ubuntu Software Center and I'm going to install a tool called GNOME System Tools that makes it easy to get your permissions straight. Search term GNOME-System-Tools. Hit enter. 
and here we go cross-platform configuration utilities select that and click install of course you'll need to authenticate that of course I'll come back after it's installed now it's installed simply close here go to the finder and we're going to type in user and you'll see right here it says users and groups and that's the one that we're going to use this is actually GNOME system tools Let's click on this get that started so we're going to click on manage groups and I'm going to go down here all the way to VBox SF for VBox share files and click on properties and for any users that you want to be able to access that shared folder you simply click on the user or any user or any groups that you want to access as groups that you've created just simply click on it they, they should be listed here click OK of course you've got authentication close close so since I do not have permissions, I, I, I need to basically either log out and log back in or restart the computer. In this case, I'm just simply going to log out. Let's go check it. Computer, media, the box here, and there's the wallpaper. And let's see if we can access it by going to settings. We could copy and paste it, but and we'll go to go to appearance and we'll open up and we'll go to file system media wallpaper open. Now we've changed our wallpaper and you, so you can see that you've got a share folder and it actually works. Thank you.